to catch your eye. Did you hear me? I got a website. Do you want to know what it is tonight? I am such.com. Got it. 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 I am such.com. This is Such, and I'm doing an efficacy for Fiona Bloom of the Bloom Effect. So my favorite mobile app is, are you ready for this? It's Diner Dash. I absolutely love Diner Dash. It is the best game on the face of the planet. It's just the perfect thing to do after a long, hard day. Just come and play some mindless Diner Dash, feed people, zoom around, um, I don't know, make a lot of points. And I have every version of Diner Dash. I have Wedding Dash, I have Hotel Dash, I have Diner Dash Boom. I mean, Diner Dash is the greatest. I should be a spokesperson for Diner Dash. <laughs> Uh, I would say two things. I say an answer to, the, to part of that question is that I love to perform, so that is a continual highlight of my career. Being able to connect with the audience, the synergy, all of that is really incredible. Um, a huge highlight of my career was when I started acting. I uh, played Celie in The Color Purple in a local production of it last year, and it was my first time acting, first time being in a musical. It was completely scary, but I was able to connect with a character, sing through the lens and the eyes of a character, and connect with an audience in a totally different way. And uh, I ended up winning the Henry Award, which is like a local Tony for um, best actress, best lead actress in a musical. So that was a huge deal. If I could go back in time, I would live in the 60s. I love the outfits, I love, I mean, what was going on there. It just seemed like everybody was really passionate about something, the civil rights movement, the music. The music really dealt with the times, and I love that. I like when music deals with social issues, and so I think that I would really thrive in that time. Ha ah, ha ha, okay, so my favorite video game, I have two, well, it's either or, or maybe it's just both, Tekken and Street Fighter, because I love fighting games. Those are the only kind of video games I play and I slay, just want you to know, just in case you ever want to, you know, go up against me in either one of those. <laughs> I most definitely have upcoming music. I'm so excited about my album that's going to drop in August, August 10th. Um, it's called Trial and Error. It's my sophomore album, and it's basically just talking about all the things that I have tried, <laughs> tried within the last two years. It's stories of what has gone on, what hasn't. Um, you know, trial and error is, is basically a method of self-discovery for me. Uh, in which you try different things and if you fail at one thing you get up you try something else until you get to where you want to and so this album I'm super excited about and I hope you love it so um, trial and error don't forget it if I could sing in any language well I'm Haitian American so I already speak three languages I would say uh, I really want to sing in Creole which is um, you know, what Haitians speak, and French, and then maybe I would want to sing in Portuguese, because I love the way it sounds. The artist that I am feeling right now, okay, I love Adele, love James Blake, love Laura Mvula, Leon La Havis, Bruno Mars, Erica Badu, Jill Scott, for sure, Aretha, uh, Michael Buble, Andrea Bocelli, I mean, Oh, I love this group called Magic. Love their song Rude. Um, I really like a lot of people. <laughs> but yeah, those are some artists that like are on repeat. And of course, Maxwell. Yes. That sums it up. What inspires me? I would say that I get inspiration from everything. From conversations, from books, from train rides to car rides to nature. I mean, living in Colorado has really just been awesome, I think, for my songwriting, for just 
um, really exploring. And then also, I journal a lot, so a lot of inspiration comes from that too. So pretty much everything. A wise man once told me that failure only occurs when you give up. So I would say to any artist that wants to do anything, that has a, a dream that's huge, to just not give up. So many times we're afa afraid of failure and of not reaching success, but the reality is that if you don't give up, you're not failing. And secondly, I think it's really important to really walk your own path. Everybody's journey is different. And so there's no need for you to want to be in my shoes. Just be in the biggest shoes that you can be in your shoes. So just dream big, don't give up, and uh, enjoy the journey and be present every step of the way. That's what I'd say. Hope you get to know me a little bit better and hopefully I'm coming to a city near you.